Oh, look. It's a picture I took of you the first time I ever came here. Ah, look at you, so young and happy. Where do the years go? Elite Smash! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash. And we're getting now pretty close to finishing a lot of different series as we've done a lot of different characters from many different games. You know, last time we did almost have completed the Mario series now, we only had two characters left. Another series that we are almost close to finishing is the Zelda series as we've done a lot of characters from that series as well. We've done Sheik, Zelda, Young Link, Ganondorf, and that means we only have two characters left. Uh, those being Link and Toon Link, both of which have their strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to focus on Link first as I think it will be more interesting to cover currently. And he has definitely changed a lot throughout Smash 4. Um, for instance, this is his Tunic of the Wild, though it goes for his Breath of the Wild design. I like this red one, it's alright. Not really a fan of this one. But this is definitely my favorite one out of the bunch. I definitely think it just has a lot of the colors that I like, and I'm gonna have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and pull some people up. Alright, looks like we have Sephiroth up first. Another sword character, but he has a lot more distance than we do, so... Let's go. So this is Link's newest move. It's the remote bomb compared to his normal bomb uh, that you can just travel across distances and you can control when they go off. So yeah, Link is actually really good in this game. Not like broken good, but he has uh, that Nair really, really good. Stops a lot of stuff. All right, down here, same as from Smash 4. Another out of shield option is upbeat grounded. There's some pretty crazy damage. We like that dash attack taking him out really early. They're already up a stock. Not really taking that much either. Only at the 46 as their bomb goes away. Alright, catching him with the up smash. And yeah, his F smash. Still two hits from the previous games. But a little neat feature added to it in this game. That I'll go over in a little bit if I can get it. As I'm not in the right moment that is it now. Alright, that is actually really good. Because he killed himself with that down air. So while we are down one stock we still have a stock advantage and i can't do the thing i want to do with the f smash yet Bombs. yeah you'll see why in a minute so let's get that bomb out i uh, missed the timing on that all right he's just trying to space us out we're not letting that happen gotta be careful with shadow flares all right good nair missed the dash attack all right good back air it was at this moment jackson knew he f***ed up Oh, yeah, that's not good. Well, we're dead now. He is winged. He's just gonna blow us up before we get a chance to use our bomb to blow him up. He's at 91% though, so I think he has a good chance to die. Alright, good boomerang. The arrow. Something cool with the arrow, folks. That forward arrow is gonna kill him just like that. I will show you something with the arrow. It's gonna be pretty cool, but right now, he got the wind, so let's soak it in. So there are many neat things that they added to Link in Ultimate that they haven't in previous games, which I thought was really cool. So, yeah, his grabs are really good, and his air arrow and his F smash are two things that are definitely something really interesting that have not been in current Smash games that I think have been really cool. Can't be pulling myself up with that bond, though. Got that good dash tech. Oh, these aren't homemade. They were made in a factory. A bomb factory. They're bombs. All right. I'm um, exploded a little too late, but he is dead regardless. Would have been nice to get a bomb snipe, but, well, you know, you know how my timing is not exactly the best. All right. Winding up. That's not going to work. Down throw up. Silt. Yeah, watch out for that down air. All right. I do want to get pick up the arrow, though. And you'll see why. If I can get it, that is. All right. Can we still make it back? Ah, so close. We did get a little bit of damage before we died, but it wasn't really that good. So oh that's God. what I was talking about. That's called the Blade Beam. Identity theft is not a joke. And it can only happen with Link's F Smash at 0%. Now I just want to get the arrow trick. Because there's something really interesting you can do with Link's arrow. Uh, I gotta watch out for those Shadow Flares. Hey, you wanna see something cool? There we go, that works. Unfortunately, took damage from the Shadow Flares, but he's at one more stock. So that's all we have to do now. Okay, gotta watch out for that down air. That could have killed me really fast. It could have made it even. Alright, 22%. Alright. The thing is, he has to not get hit by that arrow. Alright, last stock for us. So we want the arrow to be stuck in the ground in order for the arrow trick to work. Alright, no, 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 no. Alright, careful now. It's getting pretty... Uh, okay. 
Okay. All right, and he misses. So that means we have done it. It's a bit of a shame that I couldn't get the arrow trick to work, but I'll tell you about it in just a little bit as we have won. So that was a fun experience with Link, and I definitely think that in terms of the differences between Ultimate Link and previous Link are very, very different. Um, Link used to have a tether grab, actually, back in all the previous Smash games, but in Ultimate, they decided to forego that, and they're trying to keep true to his Breath of the Wild style of things, and I think it's pretty great, the bomb especially. Um, I like the little mechanics they added with Blade Beam being very specific and only 0%, and the arrow trick that I was talking to you about is if you pick up an arrow of one of Link's arrows in the ground, you pick it up, well, you have it as an item, and then you use Neutral B again, you'll be able to fire that arrow again with the second arrow, so it's a double arrow, and you do more damage with it. It's a small th little thing, but it makes a pretty big difference, and I like that they did that with Link and made him more of his own unique character, especially when in a game where there are two other Links that do, you know, pretty much the same thing. It's great to see that he has those differences. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below, comment, and blow up that subscribe button with that remote bomb. I'm sure you can time it just right about now. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.